Welcome to this week's episode of The Green Economy. We're here in Butte, Montana to talk about mining and mine reclamation. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this enormous 32-ton safe door. The answer, quite simply, is money. Over $300 billion has passed through this town and this safe since mining began. Most of the cash, the gold and silver that came out of the mountain here ended up in this vault. And this building, in fact, used to be called Metals Bank. But I am forgetting something. Don, what's it like in there, old fruity? I feel really safe in here, Andrew. Can I get out now? No. Well, let me just see if it's over. Hey, get the key. We'll uh, catch up with you later, Don. The history of mining in Butte is in many ways not different than many other areas where rich ore was discovered around the world. The California Gold Rush in 1849 at Sutter's Mill started just one year before when James Marshall discovered a few flakes of gold dust by the American River. In Butte, silver and gold mining had some success throughout the 1800s. But it wasn't until the discovery of one of the largest deposits of copper in the world at the time did Butte really get put on the map. Vast fortunes were made by industrialists who worked to control the industry at every level. Marcus Daly was one such man, founder of the Anaconda Copper Mine. Even the Rothschilds and Rockefellers were involved in certain aspects of Butte's copper history. Some of these men had paychecks worth millions of dollars a day. An incredible sum, even in this day and age. Marcus Daly and his Anaconda Mining Company had a monopoly in Butte. He controlled the mines and the brave men who risked life and limb to go deep in the earth to retrieve the valuable metals. Once on the surface, the ore was refined utilizing techniques such as smelting, a process of extracting the metal from the ore using heat and chemical agents. Here lies much of the problem. As the tremendous efforts to bring the precious metals to the market continued, what was left behind was a toxic byproduct. If you were to visit Butte today, you would see mounds of reddish and brownish dirt. These mine tailings are a problem. With rain comes erosion, and the leftover poisons leach into the rivers and drinking sources for the city. Yet today Butte is a town of transition. Efforts began a few decades ago to clean up and reclaim the area. Mine tailings are being turned into fields. Waterways are becoming natural habitat areas again. It's obvious that the scars of the past will take decades to heal. But the science and professionals going into the field of mine reclamation are our future for this important industry. We will always have to mine, but mining safely and in environmentally conscious ways is pretty green.